Okay, so I'm going to record a brief tutorial on how to use the Acapella app by Mixcord. When you download it, it'll look like this. And it's the one with the red background and the two microphones. So let's click on that. To start a new project, uh, click on Record New. Basically, it will always have um, the project that you've been working on automatically saved in the project view. So we're going to click on record a new project so I can show you how to do that. Yes, your current project is unfinished. Save this project to your profile and finish it later. No, I don't care about this particular project. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. Okay, <clears throat> so um, the Acapella app is free, but you have the possibility of upgrading for a paid subscription. Okay, but I'm going to assume right now, I'm going to uh, make this tutorial based on the free version of this app. So if you have the free version, um, when you're asked to select layout, uh, you'll only have access to the classic layouts. But there are plenty of choices already with the classic layouts. Um, the first thing you want to do is select the ratio. So you have three options possible. The one-to-one -one option, which is um, what I recommend if you intend to post your creations on Instagram. Okay, and I'm just going to show you um, the different options available to you with this ratio. 16 to 9. Okay, or 4 to 5. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and select uh, 1 to 1 as my ratio. And um, so you have a minimum of one slot to a maximum of nine slots. I'm going to go ahead and select the nine slot version, the nine slot option. Okay. Now with the free version, like I said, you have um, a maximum of one minute as recording time, but you can opt to do uh, 30 seconds or 15 seconds as well. You see three minutes and 10 minutes listed here because, uh, like I said, they're doing this promotion. But uh, the three minutes and 10 minutes are accessible only with the paid subscription. So I'm going to select 30 seconds for now and click on Next for the purposes of this tutorial. We're going to go with a shorter <clears throat> recording time. OK, now to start recording, all you have to do is click on any one of those squares. All right, so there you go. Now, before we even start recording, I just want to go through some settings. Now, see where there's, um, so at the bottom of my screen on the left-hand corner, there is that blue circle. If you click on that, uh, that's where you have the possibility of changing your mic settings. The, you can regulate the mic input gain, choose whether or not you want the monitor on or off. So I've turned that off. Um, you can regulate the mic monitor volume, metronome volume, very important. I've lowered it because I actually found the metronome to be quite loud and the sound volume. You can choose whether you want it stereo or whether you want to split the sound left or right. I've opted for um, stereo. Okay, click on the X at the top left hand corner in order to go back to the previous screen. Uh, now, okay, so um, next to the record button, you see two icons. On the left, you see a microphone, and on the right, you see like a little rectangle with a triangle uh, in the middle. Those two options are available only with a paid subscription, okay? Um, so I won't go into that, but uh, basically, for those of you with a paid su subscription, uh, the one on the right is the interesting um, function because that allows you to import a video, okay, a previously recorded video on your camera roll into a cappella. However, I do want to mention that you can only do this for the very first square, after which uh, this option is no longer available to you. Okay, so that's only with the paid version. Now I'm just going to go through the basic functions for the free version because that's what I have. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, if you select the mic, the metronome icon, okay, that will allow you to 
um, set the tempo, right? So click on the plus or minus uh, buttons, or there is this slide regulator, and um, that allows you to regulate to change the tempo. Okay, so I don't know. Let's do something at ninety, shall we? Okay. Um, and for the time signature, unfortunately, the the options are quite limited, uh, but you may choose among one, four, two, four, three, four, or four, four. If you're going to go for anything else, I recommend you select one, four. Um, all right. And so you can choose whether or not you want the metronome to be playing while recording, or you can also opt to um, disable that. And there's also the option, if you see uh, right next to the metronome icon at the top, there is that symbol of the notes. Uh, you have the, the possibility, the option of playing music while recording. So any music you have on your iPhone already, you can choose to um, hear that as you're recording. So be sure that if you want to do that, that you uh, turn that function on. I'm going to leave it off because... Um, that's not what I'm interested in right now. Okay, so I'm going to opt to have the, the metronome playing as we're recording. All right, oops, now click on the X, uh, top left-hand corner to get back to the previous screen, and we can start recording. All right, click on the red circle, the record button. Dun, 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 da, dum, dum. Dum, de, uh, dum, dum, dum. De, uh. Okay, so you have the possibility of redoing it as well if you're not satisfied with your recording, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I've selected continue to uh, move on to the next step. Okay, so yeah, same thing. Um, in this phase here, you may you still have the possibility of redoing it, re-recording yourself if you're not happy with your recording by clicking the X at the top left-hand corner of the screen. Or what I'm going to be doing is selecting the green um, circle, the tick, to confirm that I'm happy with the recording. Okay, so at this point, you may choose to click on any of the other slots. To record another voice top, uh, another voice part on top of this, but I'm not going to do that for now. What I want to show you are some of the other functions. If you look at the control panel at the bottom of the screen, so the first um, icon just basically allows you to play through uh, your project. Dun dun dun. Dun, da, dum, 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 da. Okay, click on the X top left hand corner to go back to the previous view. Now the second icon the, is the volume um, control, but uh, it also allows you, so it, 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 it's kind of like the mixer function. So let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at some of your options. You may regulate the volume. Dun, 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 da, dum, 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 da, dum, okay, dum, you may dum, change the panning. Dum. So, um, I'm going to move it slightly to the left in this case. Uh, you may add some reverb, change the pitch, or um, add some echo. Okay. So, uh, they also have some presets here. If you click on the um, equalizer option, so for example, if I select voice, right, and I want to give my voice a little more um, vocal presence. Okay, we have some presets that you can play with as well. So you click on the edit, um, you can go ahead and um, change some other parameters. Okay. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and um, move on to the next step. So be sure to click on the green circle with the tick upper right hand corner. Okay, the third icon, right, that uh, kind of that square with the stars, 
um, shows you all your different filter dum, options. So, dum, for example, dum, da, dum, 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 da, actually, dum, let me just show you. Dum, so there's dum, a black and white da, option. Dum, 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 da, dum, 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 da, dum, 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 da, dum, 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 da, dum, dum. One that I'm really loving right now is the color option. So I only have one square filled in right now, but if you have uh, every um, slot filled up, what happens is that it basically assigns every slot a different color. And the result is um, very and Andy Warhol-esque. <laughs> okay. Um, the fourth... Um, icon, the square with the stripes, okay, basically allows you to change the borders. Um, so I'm going to go for black. All right, click on the X to go back to the previous screen. Now, the fifth icon, where you have that kind of copyright symbol, is um, where you can choose to... Um, display or disable the watermark. Okay, so in this case... Okay, and you can change um, the watermark by selecting... Uh, I'll show you where that is again. Okay, uh, right below display watermark, you can go ahead and change whatever you want written in there. So I added a G by mistake, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove that. Okay, and you can also change the color, change the font. So you have several options. Um, I'm going to opt for white. Anyway, okay. So, click on the X to go back to the previous view. Okay, and then uh, when you're ready, oops. Basically, when you're ready to share the project with someone else, whether it be that you are ready to publish the project or whether it be that you're ready to send it to someone for uh, a collaboration, you'll want to click on Save and Share, top right-hand corner. And when you do that, you have several options. Okay, It gives you three options, public, private, or collaboration. If you want the project to appear in your profile, and you want it to be visible to the public, uh, select public, okay? If um, you select private, okay, that means that um, only people that you send the link to will be able to see the project, right? Otherwise, it will not automatically appear in your um, public profile. The third option, collaboration, is similar to the um, private option, except that the collaboration option, the third one um, from the top, uh, will generate a link, which means that the project will not be visible on your public profile, but you will have a link that you can send. So if I do that, for example, okay, let's pretend that I selected the collaboration option. And you have these uh, possibilities of send, you have the possibility of sending the link via Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, Line, SMS, or email. Okay, but I'm going to go ahead and go with public because this option allows you to download your video onto your camera roll. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, this process takes a while, so I'm actually going to skip through that and um, show you the rest uh, of what I wanted to mention in this tutorial with another video. So let me go back to, okay. So if you go to the main, uh, to your home page, let's say, on Acapella and select profile, that's where you will see all the uh, projects, okay? Um, all your projects that you've saved, um, whether you've chosen to make them public or uh, opted for to keep them private. 
Now, if uh, you select in the project that interests you and you um, want to share it with someone else in, you, let's say, okay, so let's say that um, you opted to, for the, you selected public instead of collaboration, so it didn't generate the e-link, you can go to your profile and then you see um, there are several icons right below the video, right? You want to click on the star icon, select share, and select copy. And so that's basically your clipboard now. And if you open your email, right? Or WhatsApp or Messenger, whichever, and you paste it, uh, it will have the link to your project that you can send to your friends for collaboration. Okay, what else do I need to show you? Okay, the heart icon is basically the equivalent of a like, so you can like your friends' creations, the friends that you add in Acapella. Uh, you can also comment on their creations, that would be the second icon to the right of the heart. And the three dots that you see right next to the chat icon allows you to um, edit the caption or, or add a description or to change the privacy settings, right? So if I click on edit caption, let's see, here we go, right? Blah, 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 blah. And I save that, but for now I'm gonna cancel. Uh, going back to the three dots, Privacy allows you to change um, the settings. So if previously you had chosen public, you can opt to changing that to private at any time. Um, what else do I need to show you? Yeah, that's all. Okay. Uh, you can also choose to re-import the project by selecting edit, import. Okay, so basically edit and the three dots are the same. Um, oh, one more thing. Okay, so let's say uh, you hadn't been able to download the video into your camera roll and you want to now do that, right, with one of the previous videos that you'd worked on, which is in your profile. So if I want to do that, all um, I would then do is click on that video, click share, Right, and if I have Instagram, what I would do is select the Instagram icon, whether or not I actually intend to publish it on Instagram, because that automatically downloads the video onto my camera roll. Now, if you haven't got Instagram, uh, that option will not appear available to you, and unfortunately, none of the other options. Um, will allow you to download the video automatically into your camera roll or at least i haven't figured that part out yet um, because all the other options that i've tried basically just generate a link so what you would then do if you wanted to download um, one of your previously published videos onto your camera roll would be to select edit um, import and then from there follow the same procedure that i described earlier which would be import it into the project view, click save and share, public, and then you would have to choose among the options in the bottom part of the screen, see? And what you would select is camera roll, and that would save it onto your camera roll. So those are the basic functions. I hope that was useful. And happy music making. Enjoy. <laughs>